I just wanted to log what's going on in case this is of use later. I'm in a lot of pain. I'm very sick as I've been saying for a long time now. I've tried to get political asylum and medical intervention for a long time. <laughs> and um, no one has helped me, not a single person I've had. they just been messed with every step of the way. Every step of the way. Not a single person has lifted a finger to help me. Every individual or organisation who claims to help whistleblowers and people who have been targeted by the government, whatever, whatever it may be, I've got all the documents, evidence, recordings to prove everything I say and not a single person. They're, they're all lying, hypocrite, predators, just vampires, just leeching off other people, just trying to be famous by leeching off other people. Every last one of them. I really need painkillers, but I can't get any because I'm blocked from the medical system. Entirely blocked. A lot of could say I'm in too much pain to be able to say, uh, I, look, I, I might not survive the night. I just wanted to explain. I've been trying some things to uh, my own uh, methods of trying to deal with the infections that have been put into my body that I'm being blocked from getting medical treatment that's easily curable, but otherwise it's lethal. I, I can't, I'm blocked from every government service, everywhere I go. And I try to go to a hospital emergency department, they kidnap me. They've done it before, they've tried it over and over when I, last time I went in, well I was trying with recorded, recorded to prove it. Mm. Oh, the pain. Oh. So, I, uh, I've recently had to do some uh, surgery on myself a few times to try and keep me going. Not a, uh, not silly, stupid surgery. I'm not not self mutilation. I mean actual, proper surgery. I had to do to to, to keep myself alive. And the methods that I've taken have kept me going, and they started working for a while. But as of several days ago. It all just suddenly, just out of the blue, started going downhill. I, about a day ago, I, um, I did some more surgery. Nothing too bad, but, uh, more surgery tried to try to deal with these infections. I had, I had to do surgical things to do with these infections, and, uh, it, it's just gone. It's like, it's still going downhill even more rapidly than before. I have, uh, a new infection that's that's probably going to kill me any time now. Oh, I will, I'm going to. The all I can do is wait till Monday. There's something I can try on Monday. Ah, oh, there's something I can try on Monday, and uh, it's Sunday today. It's Sunday morning. It's 5 a.m. I, I can't. You know, I'm. I don't think I'm going to last today. I just wanted to explain, this is what's going on. Like I've, for seven years, I've tried to get political asylum and medical intervention to save my life. Not a single person will help me. Like Everyone who has tried, pretended to try to help me has ended up betraying, sabotaged me, and then you have, after the true colours come out, they ended up laughing at, laughing at my predicament and saying, why don't you hurry up and die, and stuff like that sabotaged every step of the way shit that just sounds unbelievable but it's all documented over and over and over I've got videos and stuff just showing this oh many of them but I uh I'm doing this video I I may uh, unless unless this uh infection and surgery that I did this infection uh in the next few hours or so if it if it starts to settle down or something and, and reverse, I doubt it, but if it does, I'll, 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 I might be alright for a while, just for a while, um, this infection, main infection I've got is lethal, It's I, I need a medical intervention to save my life, to, to cure it, ah, I'm trying not to black out for the pain, um, but this new one that's come up, uh, this new infection that's come up, my, basically, my immune system, what I was doing was working and my immune system started fighting back. And it's fighting back, it's winning, and something is something has happened along the way and it's all just it's all just gone to shit. I don't know what's happened. 
maybe the one or more of the infections of uh counteracted my immune system in some way or something or my immune system's just caved in i don't know but um i'm in extreme pain i can't even get painkillers i'm blocked from getting painkillers everything i can't get any any medical treatment whatsoever anywhere in australia i can't get anything overseas no one overseas will help any whistleblower in any other country only unless they've got something to get out of it. And if they do, they'll stab you on the back the moment they don't have any use for you anymore. There is no whistleblower protection anywhere. There is no protection of the innocent and vulnerable everywhere. Everyone is a liar and a hypocrite and a predator and a traitor. Every single one of you. Every last one. And it makes it even worse that you pretend that you're not. Here I am, seven years on. I've been trying to get political intervention and medical intervention to save my life and not a single one of you have helped me. You don't have an excuse. And it's not just me. Everyone else who who goes public with whistleblowing and stuff stands up against evil. They know that no one else will side with them, that everyone else is a coward. They know that they're sacrificing themselves. On the rare occasion, people do that. People do the right thing on the rare occasion, but they do so knowing that everyone else is a fucking lying hypocrite scumbag and they're all on their own. You know, this is how you want things to be. You you live in this hole and you die in this hole. Expect punishment. I'll probably be... Unless something um, unexpected happens, I'll, I, I might be, be dead any time now. I don't think I'm going to survive the night. A lot of things I could say. I don't need to be said. It's all in my story. I just wanted to do this to... In case it's needed to be known what happened to me if I disappear. Alright, that's it.